glasses off because I see the ring light glaring in them. But today I have a special unboxing. Now I don't usually splurge and get this but this was on sale last week um, for National Cruelty Month at Missouri Star and it was a deal that I couldn't pass up for the amount of fabric that you get. So and just watch on their website. It goes on sale a couple of times but this was the cheapest I'd seen it. So this is their end of bolt box. It's 20 up, approximately 20 yards of fabric, anything from two inches to 35 inch cuts of fabric in it. And it was, it's normally around $219 and it was less than a hundred bucks. So, um, and I had some points from them from, cause I'm a frequent shopper. So I got it a lot cheaper than that. So um, first thing in the unboxing is I got a check this time. Sometimes I get checks, sometimes I don't. This is a pretty spring floral embroidered check. My daughter steals these from me and decorates her room with them. So I'm gonna hide this one if I don't already have it. So, but I'm gonna show you. I was surprised that it comes so neatly packed. My dog just dropped the shoe at my feet. But it came so neatly packed, I was expecting it all just to be thrown in the box. But it's all folded, neatly packed, ready to put away. <laughs> so, it's good. I don't have to sit here and fold and iron. But I'm going to pull out some stuff and I'm going to show you what's all in here. I just literally opened it like five minutes ago when the FedEx man dropped it off. So, I haven't actually looked in it. But it's a lot of different colors, a lot of beautiful prints. And I'm excited to add these to my stash. Because I'm fixing to start shopping a lot for my stash and stop buying fabric for a while. I know I say that every week, but really I am. So, because I just went through and did a spring cleaning this weekend in my sewing room and realized I have way too much fabric and I hadn't even sewn. I'm only 40 years old, but I think I've almost got enough fabric to that I will have stashed beyond my life expectancy. And... I don't want to leave a bunch of fabric for my kids to get rid of. And I find if I get accumulate too much, then I get stressed and then I don't want to walk in my sewing room and I get less motivated. So that's another factor. I do have some stuff pre-ordered from Back Quarter Shop that I've pre-ordered since last year. Some kits and stuff that will be coming throughout the year as the fabric com lines come in. But don't eat things off my floor. Dog is eating. But other than that, I won't be ordering fabric unless I need something to finish a project or buying fabric. Maybe just binding backings, bindings, backings, and borders, and backgrounds. But I've got a lot of background over here on bolts that you see behind me. So I don't even need that for a while. Unless it's just something that specifically I need. Hi, Timmy. But y'all say hi to Mr. Timmy here. Timmy is nine years old. He is in kidney failure. You want to say hi, Timmy? Say hi, Timmy. He is a Shetland sheep dog. He got a haircut earlier. Yeah. He's my buddy. He and the Golden Doodle are not friends yet, but they're working on the relationship. So. But they were both very excited for the FedEx man. They both barked. So let me know he had arrived. So we're going to start here. I'm going to pull things out. I'm going to look on the selvage to see if there's a particular brand or a particular fabric line and you know about how long it is. I'll measure it on my thing here. But so this is Best Bits by Stoff Fabrics Danish Design. It's like a Danish fabric company. Hmm, interesting. It's very pretty. Very modern, light blue with a black half circles. And this one is approximately 
23 inches, so about two thirds of a yard. That's very nice. And I'm not gonna be able to fold these back the way they were, <laughs> unfortunately. So, we'll do that. And I'll put these away. We'll just go through the blues here, because I'm gonna put all the blues in my blue box and all my greens in my green box. This is a Wilmington print. It looks like it's by Janelle Penner. It doesn't have, it has, doesn't have, has part of a name on it, but it's, it looks like blueberries. It's blueberries. Awesome. Blueberries. I love blueberries. I have blueberry bushes outside. Oh my God. I'm going to have to use this in something. That's so pretty. So pretty. It's probably my favorite one yet. And we only went through two. Blue. Let's see what else blue we got. Ooh, blue floral. Nice. I love it. It's very stiff. It looks like a 108. Yeah, that's a 108. <laughs> it's half of a 108. I mean, it's a half of a, it's like a, I didn't measure that other one. I'll measure that one first. Looks like it's probably about the same as the other. Well, it's a little shorter. So this is about a foot, about a third of a yard of blueberries from Wellington. Let's take it. And we've got this beautiful 108 here. And we'll just measure this in. And it is 16, 17 inches. So another Third of a yard, half a yard almost. That's very pretty. And I mean, you got uh, 108 the other, other way, so this is basically a whole yard of fabric, um, pretty much. So, you know, you know what I mean. About two yards of fabric, so that's pretty. I actually may put that in my 108 stash because I have some smaller projects I can use that for. All right, we got this other blue. This one's some dots. This one is fabric editions. Uh, Selvage is mostly cut off of it. Let's see here. Prince Charming by Mag Cat Cottage Fab or Fabric Editions. So I've never heard of these, some of these, but they're very pretty. So, very pretty. Very pretty blue. I'm to find places to put all this stuff. And let's see here. This is about 24 inches. So two thirds of a yard. Let's see what other blues we got in here. Got another blue here. Beautiful blue. It's another blue floral. This is Rainbow Sampler by Kay Ingle, England, licensed to Wilmington Print, Wilmington. So this is a Wilming, Wilmington print. It's blue, greens, very pretty. This is 21 inches. So it's a good amount of fabric. I was expecting just a bunch of little bitty strips, but this is good. And Got another blue here. It's some spirally things that like sand dollars, kind of. See what it says. See if we got a selvage on here that tells us what it is. And if we don't, there is no name on it whatsoever. But it's very pretty. And it's about 20 inches. It's a little bit wonky cut. About 21 inches, so. Not sure what this is. If you know what this is, just kindly put it in the comments. And I will check it out. And let's see here. We 
some other blue here. Ooh, this is look like a batik. It's very shiny, almost metallic-y. Very pretty, it's little ferns, cat ferns, wheatgrass, something. And let's see, this is Opal Essence by Maywood Studios. Hmm. It's very pretty. And we did about, about 18 yards, about 18 inches, not 18 yards. 18 inches, so third of a yard, or half a yard, actually. So, let's see here. We got, this looks like peacocks. Peacock feathers, or peacock design. So, let's see what we got here. It's by Okio Tex. Uh, Wyndham Fabrics Promenade. So yeah, that, that is, I think, a line that had a panel that had some, uh, had some peacocks in it. That is going to be 24 inches. So we're about two-thirds of the yard. Very pretty. It's also got a little bit of a shimmer to it. Not so much, but I love anything with peacock colors. I saw some peacocks when I was in Charleston. They were on this uh, plantation that you could tour. It was awesome. They would just walk around with bad signs up not to feed them. So here's one that's very playful. Be good for a kid's quilt. It's a Wilmington too, but I don't have anything else in the salvage. It's all different colored dots. It's blue. And it's about 17 and a half inches. So, about a third of a yard there. A little over a third. And we've got this patriotic kind of looking one. Red blue and cream colors. This one is looks like let's see if the salvage has anything. Just says B R E something studio all rights reserved so I'm not really quite sure. It's very pretty. Very eclectic looking thing. And it's 22 inches, 23 inches. So that's a pretty one if you had some basic reds and creams and blues. You could add that as a pop of colors to it. We've got this blue. It's a batik. I can tell by the feel of it. It's really light color. It just looks like fireworks on it or splashes. Let's see if we've got a salvage that will tell us what it is. Sometimes these boutiques don't have have anything on them. This one doesn't. Most of them are, it's just on the bolt. But if you know what this boutique is, let me know. But it's, it is very beautiful. And we'll see how much. Looks like we got 25, 26 inches, so a good bit of that one. So lots of blues. I wanted to kind of build up my color stash with some more basic prints. I was hoping there was a lot in here, and, and there is. This is another one of this Maywood Studio um, Opal Essence. So let's see how much, since we've already seen it, it's the same print, exact same one. So this one is um, 18 inches. So I basically almost got a yard of this one here. It's really pretty. It would be good in a three yard quilt pattern if I could find a, a focus fabric to it. And let's see what we got here. We got another one of this one. The uh, patriotic kind of eclectic mix. Let's see if this has more of the salvage breezeway by Maywood Studios. Okay, so now we know what it is. And this one is 21 inches. So we basically got a yard of this one. 
Oh, I could make a three R quilt with this. Could just bring a red and a blue in. This could be my focus and a nice patriotic quilt. See what else we got in here? This blue. Lots of blues. Here's another one. I think this one's in, from Breezeway. It kind of looks similar. It's just a blue and a cream. Let's see. It is. Breezeway as well from Hayward Studios. Very pretty. I love the filler. It's real soft. A lot softer than some of them. This one's about 22 inches. So yeah, I could use this. And a three-yard quilt too. It's kind of an accompaniment or a binding. This will make a great binding for the, the outside since the prints are very similar. Since I usually go with a bigger binding than what's on a three-yard quilt. That would be great. Oh, this one's thick. This one looks like kind of 30s playtime. It's blue with some florals. Kind of like sugar sack fabric back in the day. This one. Maybe a 108. It is. Well, I don't know. Yeah, it's a 108 at least, or 80 inch, 70 inches. And there's no selvage on it. Well, there is, but there's no. It's like a, maybe like a quarter of a 108. Because it looks like it was cut. Because there's one selvage, but there's not another one. Really don't see salvage. I don't know. This is very weird. But it is, if you go by this, it's 21 inches one way and about 70 the other. So this is probably some kind of wide back. Really soft too. It's really pretty. So it's basically a bit, effectively a yard. So that would be good. It would be good for a back of a quilt too, a baby quilt. Lots of light blue, baby blue. All right, let's see if we've got some other blues in here. Just a few more. All right, this feels like a batik. Palm leaves. It's like a navy blue and a pinkish color, off white. It's a breezeway. So I've got like a lot of the breezeway collection. This one's about 23 inches. And we got two of these. This one must have come from two different bolts. I'm glad they come together. This is Wandering Meadows, Allison Tauber, courtesy of Pink Light Studio, Wilmington Prints. So, very pretty floral tulips. I love tulips. It's about 16 inches. About 16 inches on that one. And there's the second one, same one. We will see how much it is. It is 16 inches as well. It's almost a full yard. Oh, that one. That one's great. I would make a three-yard quilt. Just get you a blue that matches and get you a white. You got a three-yard quilt. And I believe that's pretty much all of the predominantly blue ones. So let's go to pink and red. I'm going to try to get this done before my computer says we're out of time to film. This looks like Breezeway too. It's like the blue that we had, but now it's red and there's two of them. So, uh, this one looks about, about 10 inches. Let's see. Yep. This one's a 10 inch piece by with the fabric and Same one, Breezeway, Maywood Studios, I believe, or Wilmington, Maywood. This one's 10 inches too, so 20 inches. Is this one. And then we have.
have this red batik, kind of like a half circle hexagon, half hexy, echoey, looks like an eyeball to me, but don't have a name on it, but it's about 24 inches. And we have another batik. It's kind of a peachy rose color. Now this one doesn't have, let's see if it's got anything on it. It's made with studio. Oh, this is Breezeway too. It's just more of a peachy color. And it is, so I've got a lot of the Breezeway collection. So I'm going to list it what it's like. 21. 21 inches. Feels it doesn't feel batiki, but it looks batiki with the, the thing there. And I think these are Breezeway too, just by the feel of them. And the, the coloring. I have two of this one. It's Breezeway, red. Same print, just a different color. You got a 24-incher here. better in a minute. So man, I can do a whole quilt just with the Breezeway collection that they gave me here. I mean, look at that. This one's 24 too, so a full yard of this one. So there's, look, I can make a three yard quilt, probably a three yard plus some quilt. So we'll go with the pinks and the purples. And this one's predominantly red. It's a red floral. It's real pretty. It looks like it may be a 108. I think it's like that other one. This one says Fabric Editions. It's all that's on the selvage. Fabric Editions Incorporated. Yeah. That's a, that's a regular one, it looks like. It's about, about 27 inches. It's about the biggest piece we've had so far. But it's a real pretty floral. And we got this real pretty tie-dye. I could use this in my psychedelic cat quilt I'm gonna be showing on here that won a prize at my local quilt shop. This one is Fabric Editions 2. This is kind of a tie-dye swirl. Orange, pink, white, 20 inches. Very beautiful. My daughter's probably going to confiscate this one. She loves the thumbprints. She's also going to confiscate this beautiful dot. It is a purple fuchsia color dot. This one is Essentials Wilmington Prints. Must be their dot line. That's all on there. Very pretty. She's gonna confiscate this from me. We're probably gonna make cats out of this or stuffed animals. 18 inches. And we have a purple dot. I can already see where these are going. These two here will probably go to make a stuffed animal. And then we have this purple dot and this purple swirl. I'll make another stuffed animal or all four of these together will make a quilt or something, cat bed. This is another essential. This one's much longer. It's like 26 inches at least. Twenty-six, twenty-seven. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I love this. My daughter loves purple. She's gonna steal this from me, I know. It's another Fabric Editions. It's the same swirl. It's about 20 inches. She's gonna be stealing all of these from me. I don't know what she's gonna make with them, but she'll steal them. And of course we have this one. She's gonna steal this one too. It's teal. Greenish teal, purpley color. It matches all them others. These all four or five go together with the dots. 
probably they're different lines, but they all match so much that you can make a whole quilt out of this. Look, 24 inches. So definitely built up my uh, my stash of, of semi-solid colors, stuff that I can work with. There's a lot of white on whites in here too, which is surprised me. I know. Ooh, hummingbirds. Got hummingbird fabric, guys, and butterflies. So let's take a look at these. It's beautiful hummingbirds. There's two of them. Here. Looks like a 108. Maybe. No, oh, it's just a lot of it. It's probably about, this looks like almost a yard. This hummingbird. It's Fanciful Flight by Wilmington Prince. Beautiful. Hummingbirds remind me of my granddad. He used to have a gazillion hummingbird feeders. He would just like to sit on his porch and watch them. So every time I see a hummingbird, I think of him. So this is probably gonna go into a quilt to go for his memory. He passed away during COVID. But, and here we have another piece. It's the same one. That one, as I said, it was basically almost a yard. Probably 35 inches just by looking at it. But this is 14, so I've got a full yard and then some of this. I can make a three yard quilt with it. And I think this one goes with it. Butterflies. So this could be my second fairy. And then I just get something to go with it. Fanciful flight. I can definitely do that. It would make two quilts. This is 25 inches, so. Definitely, and they're purple. My daughter's gonna try to steal them. Half this box is gonna go to her, I believe. She's gonna stuff it somewhere where I can't get to it. That's okay. And this one is another Fabric Editions. It's kind of this little funky print. Looks like maybe they're gonna be flowers, but I'm not sure. It's about 20 inches. So, a lot of these are going to be good for when I'm, I'm making stuffed animals this summer for us to sell a few vendor things and um, probably make a few to donate to the children's hospitals in our area. Ooh, look at this heart. That is so cute. I wonder what this come from because this is gorgeous. And I don't know what I would do with it, but... It would make a good bear or something with the hearts on it. It's fabric additions too. So it's about 19 inches. So that's a white. It's a pretty yellow. This one looks like it's fabric additions too. It's just a yellow spot. Some awful, some weird looking spots. Not awful. It's really stiff. Some of these are like, I want to spray the massage or something because this one is super duper stiff. Cramps Charming by Fabric Editions. And it's about 24 inches. That's a pretty yellow. I don't have a lot of yellows. I don't have a lot of oranges. I didn't get a lot in this box, but I did get a lot of blues and a lot of reds and a lot of purples. Here's a pretty gray from Winsong Meadows for Wilmington. This one's pretty. This one, I wonder if it's a 108. No, but it's pretty. It's almost a yard. It's a real pretty, like, flowery cross looking doodad. It's 26, 26 inches. So, that's a pretty gray. That would go good in some stuff. And this is some kind of plaid. Uh, so Wilmington, K. Ingold, England. I don't know what it's from, but it's pretty. Kind of the oddest one that's in here. All these tend to look like they kind of go together, but this one doesn't. This one's the one that kind of mess, messes up the whole collective. But, I mean, I could use it in something. Definitely could make something out of it. It's about 16 inches. 
I need a different dog bed. Here's another one just like it. We've got a whole yard of it now. So it's probably 16 inches too. So yeah, I can make a good pet bed out of that. I think that would make a really good pet bed. That's 17 inches. So yeah, about pretty much a yard. All right, I'll take the dog out in a minute. She's pacing so she won't be in my floor again. This one feels like a boutique, but I bet this one is Breezeway. It is. It's another Breezeway. Pretty much got the entire Breezeway collection in there. Never heard of it before, but it's pretty. It's kind of Americana, but kind of, to me, looks like kind of old ancient stuff. But it's pretty. This is about 20, 22 inches. And... Ooh, we got a grunge. I can tell what that is. That's a grungy grunge. Feels like grunge anyway. Real stiff. Maybe a boutique. We don't have a, anything on the selvage, but it's kind of got the same texture as a grunge. And it's 18 inches. So really stiff. Like a linen. Really starch to linen. And then we have this one. Kind of, I think I've got some of this over there. It's a little mottled, like a mottled thing. It doesn't have anything on it, but it's a, it'll be a good blender. It's about 24 inches. And that's it. That's it, guys. That was all of it. So. Let me count them up real quick, and I'll give you a full total of how many we have for less than a hundred bucks. It's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Basically, 42 cuts of fabric for less than $100. And it said it was upwards of 20 yards or more. And I believe that because most of them, the average was about 20 inches. So 20 times 42, yeah, definitely would be that's well worth it. And I can use just about every single thing in there for something. Like I said, stuffed animals, just binding. Sometimes I don't even need a full yard for binding. Um, I've got pretty much the entire Breezeway collection. <laughs> so I can make a entire, entire quilt out of that. Um, a lot of beautiful fabrics. Nothing that I couldn't possibly use. So, yeah. So, if you see it on sale from Missouri Star, and you can afford it, I would give it a shot. Help you build your stash. We'll talk to you later. Thanks for stopping by. Mandy Southern Stitching.